the question can be asked, why do we have to reach leaders? First, leaders like all other people need to be personally connected with God through Jesus Christ in order to experience abundant life and also eternal life. I discovered in these 30 years of this type of practice that that people, leader of the society that have a lot of money, um, education and professional success, that they have deepness for meaning, purpose and beloved. I'm sure that the only place where they could find an answer for this deepness is in Jesus Christ. Secondly, leaders have incredible influence. They make decisions, they come up with policies that impact the lives of many other people. Leading figures in the world of culture are also influencers. Because art touches hearts and shapes mindsets, we need to reach people who have influence in their field. Me becoming part of the law domain in leader strategies has been very, very beneficial to me because every time I go outside, I feel like I am a representative of Christ. Okay, I'm, I am saved, so I'm able to share with the other lawyers. Thirdly, leaders know how to make things happen. That's what leadership is all about. So they are where they are because they have been successful in knowing how to turn ideas into realities. It's been a humbling opportunity um, and experience rather to know that God, the Lord of the universe, can actually use someone like me. And what I have learned is that God does not use special vessels, but uses available vessels. Fourthly, leaders have the resources to sponsor the things that they consider to be priorities. Because of that, Leader Strategies is focusing on engaging more leaders so that they can utilize their leadership, their influence, their finances and expertise to help accelerate the fulfillment of the Great Commission. Their leadership, this is talking about the leadership opportunities they have because of their positions. Their influence is referring to their relational capital. Their finances, of course, money and expertise. The various skills that they have acquired, experiences that they have acquired over their lifetime through their educations and engagements and what I've used. I think for the leader, the awareness that I am here on assignment, I'm here for the Great Commission and looking out for those opportunities, availing yourself because um, you're not the only one. The Lord could choose to use anyone, uh, but the Lord chooses to use you. So being aware and being available, looking out for those opportunities, making friendships, making partnerships that will be able to, to spread the gospel, whether it is overtly or through influence. In all of our lives, there are defining moments. And one of the most defining moments in my life was when I was around Dr. Bill Bright. And he challenged me to the idea of giving a million dollars to the fulfillment of the Great Commission. Now, I was a young man. I didn't have a million dollars at the time. I, I was working in a profession. I was a commodity trader, literally a lumber trader. Today, we're about a hundred million dollar a year company. And that's probably just one of about five different companies that we own. And uh, if I look back now, uh, we have probably generated over $5 million that we've been able to give. When leaders are transformed by the love of Jesus and they give their leadership, their influence, their finances and expertise back to him, cities and nations are transformed. Who are those leaders in your nation? Trust the Lord, step out in faith, reach them with the gospel, and see Jesus mobilize them for the Great Commission. So what's the next steps? Start one of our leader strategies, expand into a new audience, and see what God can do will be transformational, for he is able to do more than we ask or imagine.